Hi, Grandad 1982 here, uh, with some more walking. Um, it's 22nd of December and it's almost like spring. It's unbelievably warm. Now I've got got my fucking sleeves rolled up, hoodie undone, and I'm still a bit too warm. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to walk along this bit of footpath. Um, goes from the edge of Ash well, goes from it's a footpath that kind of links a bit, couple of bits of Ashdown Forest. Uh, comes up from near, uh, I can't remember the name of the car park. It's near a place called Hind Leap Warren, and the other end of the footpath where I'm heading is uh, and it comes up near a riding school at Chelwood Gate. Um, so yeah. Without further ado, let's just do a bit of walking. Bit of glare from the sun there, see if I can shade it out. This, as you can see, is some Scots Pine Plantation. Uh, I guess it's mainly the wood is probably used in wood uh, for pulp, for paper making maybe. I can't imagine it's much good for anything else. Just pleasantly pleased at the track at the moment. About three years back as you can see, some forestry. The forest, forestry operations. Came along with a big machine and churned the fuck out of this path. Uh, maybe it's further up, I can't remember. But so far I'm pleasantly pleased. Before it was almost impassable. I'm wondering if they filled it in along the edges where the kind of foot, foot and a half deep tyre tracks were left. So basically it carries on like this for a, another 10 minutes I guess, 5 10 minutes. Um, so what I might do is finish this recording here and we'll pick it back up when we get to a slightly different change in scenery. Right, see you in about 10 minutes. So, it took, oh, excuse me, it took about five minutes, not ten minutes. Uh, yeah, so this section of the is complete, and we'll just walk on a bit and see what we find. Turns out what we found <laughs> is an abandoned lawnmower. Abandoned electric lawnmower. 
and a squirrel. It's an extreme lawnmower. What a funny place to dump your lawnmower. I wonder if it still works. I don't need it. I've got a better lawnmower than that already. So yeah. This path comes up here. As I said, it comes up by a riding school, but also, uh, more immediately, it comes up by this rather cute little cricket pitch, um, which is the Ashdown Forest uh, Club's ground. <laughs> See, the outfield isn't necessarily uh, the greatest quality. Let's have a little zoom in on the clubhouse. Yeah. A little cricket pitch. And the riding school is kind of down this way, maybe a little bit off to the left. Yeah. We head towards the road. We're not very far here from uh, Harold Wilson's old house, the name of which escapes me at the moment, maybe High Highbrook? No, High something possibly. Uh, I think it's owned by a Chinese businessman now, and is yes, yeah, of course, on there. Some taxi action. So the name of the house is actually Birch Grove, uh, Harold Wilkerson's old house I think. I mean just seeing the sign on that gate I walked past, if you wonder why he blanked there. No random members of the public particularly like being filmed by a strange man walking around the woods. This bit of road goes from uh, the red line near Childwood Gate along to uh, Horsted Canes. Here comes a car, so I'll, get, I'll just get to the side. A bit more than I already am. What an unpleasant coloured Suzuki. Yep. I'm not going to walk too far down this bit of road. Just down to probably can't see it from this bit of film, but there's a footpath sign about 15-20 metres in front of us. And we're going to bear off to the right there. So we're going to go down here, across the road. So you can't necessarily see it very well, let's see if I can zoom in. That there is something called like the West Weald Zionist Centre or something. Uh, has a lovely, has a lovely cherry tree in the spring. And I can hear some horses coming. But anyway, we're going to make our way down this footpath. over some leaves, I mean sticks. So yeah, this footpath just carries on like this for a little bit. And again, I will just stop recording here, and then we'll come back to it when something a bit more interesting happens. See you in a moment. So I just realised uh, I hadn't pressed play, or I hadn't pressed record, so the last couple of minutes, I'm just going to describe. So after a couple of minutes from where I left the last recording, come to a footpath sign. You can either go left or straight on. Uh, left takes you to some splashes at Birch Grove, I think. I'm not 100% sure where it comes out. Straight on will come down what actually is quite a fairly steep slope. 
Um, and there, it's on the side of the slope, there's this old boundary marking ditch and wall. That's not really a wall. There's some nice old beech trees on it. So yeah, you want to come down this steep slope, and it's a bit slippery, and carry on. Path's a bit eroded away here. So this stream, uh, you can just about see, you see that slabs of sandstone there? I think that's quite a nice, pretty interesting little site. Uh, I guess they're preserved like that because of the, the tilt at which they're resting now. Uh, see the, obviously the plane that they're, they're laying in. So things just kind of flow off it rather than eroding it too much. Um, yeah, kind of interesting in a way. Again, this path just winds on, kind of following this the stream, find the stream which I'll just zoom in on, and kind of just make it out there. And it follows this along for a bit, and so yeah, again, I'll be back in a moment. I'm glad. So this little willow has fallen across the path. It's not really obstructing it, you can walk around. Avoiding the slippery stones on this stream. It's not really a stream. I can still hear horses. Pretty sure they can't be the same ones though. Well, they can't be.
nice slippery bridge. Not really much water in the stream at the moment. Hasn't really rained much even though it pissed it down a couple of days. Need a lot more rain to avoid a serious drought here in the southeast. So we've come to a branching of the ways, it doesn't really matter which way you go, uh, it's all going to end up in the same place. We're going to take this way. I think the other one might be the original path, but it doesn't make any difference. They both come up in exactly the same place. Which is on this drive. So, uh, the rest of the walk goes up this hill. If you want to go to the splashes, they're about a minute or two down the road in this direction. So maybe I'll just go down there, show you what the splash looks like, and then come back up. It's only about a minute down the road to the left. So this is the um, stream we were just walking along the side of, um, yeah, this is the splash, so there's another one a bit further around the corner where the stream crosses the road. So we'll go back up to where I just was and we'll carry on up the hill. So we're back where I was just before we went down to the splash, as you can see that's that driveway and here we are going up a fairly steep hill on the road. Um, it can be a right bastard this in the winter. Yeah, it's frozen over.
so yeah, we'll just follow this road up and round. Uh, and I will rejoin you when we get to the next turning. So we just walked up the road a little way. Got these lovely cottages. Nicely cut bit of hedge up there. And we come up here. When we get to those first cottages, this footpath here on our left, we're going to go down. If we carried on following this road all the way up, uh, it would come to the start of the footpath where I started this video. I probably should have started filming from the beginning, but it didn't occur to me until I'd already started. Never mind. But yeah, we're going to go down here. Take this left hand fork, so I'm pretty sure, I mean right hand fork, if you take the left one I think it just bears around and comes out near the bottom of this path eventually. I'm kind of running low on memory on my camera, I'm only using my digital compact, I've got a video camera I think, hence the atrocious quality of the sound and vision. Um, so I'm just going to stop recording again and I'll pick it up uh, when we get to the bottom of this little bit of valley here where the footpath is taking us. I love the ducks. So this bit of footpath here <coughs> leads up past a place called Crips Manor and another place called uh, Snuff Cottages. There's another house I don't know the name of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, it leads up here. So at the moment this footpath it will turn into a tarmac piece of drive in a moment. I've only got three minutes, three and a half minutes left of recording time, so we'll pick this up again uh, shortly. So here we are, this is on this side where you're looking now. That is kind of like the forest proper, or more like a proper bit of the forest, I like to think. Uh, this hedge, I helped a guy called John cut this hedge. 
nice, eh? But more interesting than a hedge is this tree here. I think it's a Wellingtonia, I'll show you it in a second, since we're not actually looking at it when I'm saying this tree here. It's this tree here. Well, I not think it looks particularly interesting. Actually, this tree marks the um, one of the trees that mark the meridian line. So it's nearly 12 o'clock, and the sun is right behind me. So I guess, without a compass to really check, at the moment you could say I'm standing in the western hemisphere. So I'm just on the west side of the tree. And uh, come over here on the eastern hemisphere. Uh, that wasn't that exciting. Don't tell. <laughs> Never say I don't do anything exciting. So yeah, this part, track just comes up here, joins another drive, and then we will end the recording very soon. So we've only got two minutes. I'm nearly home. So. We'll just carry on for a moment. until I get in position so we don't run out of time. So that's my house, I should say my parents' house. And if we just zoom, what will we have to see? Beautiful view down the valley, towards across the Weald and towards the South Downs. Yeah, so 10 seconds left. Hope you enjoyed that. Merry Christmas.